nervous getting into the passenger side. No, that's why. I've seen you driving. Do you want a lift or not? Sorry, old chap. Of course. Right. Let's see if we can solve this. Cryptic one this time. Two down, eight letters, begins with U. Builder goes mad during door removal. Unhinged? Ah, now I'm pleased I took the lift with you. U-N-hinged. You sure you wouldn't be happier in the English department? It's the only reason I buy these things now. Although, there was that one story I wanted to read. Can you believe it? About that Molly girl. I haven't had anything about the story. Oh. Now you've been away in Scotland again, haven't you? Lucky you. The lecturer, Molly Shanahan. Got taken away yesterday on campus. It was a right stir outside college. Black cars blocking the road. Plain clothes police, or so it looked. Photographs here on page two. I know her. She's the, the, the one that wears the red jacket. Well, I don't know about that. This one could be red. Bit of a giveaway if it was. <laughs> but you know her. Well, I, I've met her. Good Lord. You're not mixed up in this, eh? I don't know what all this is. Can you read it? Well, it says here she's rumoured to have links with the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. <clears throat> Miss Shanahan, lecturer at Newhall College, Cambridge, was known to be associated with the CND and other anti-nuclear weapons organisations, all of which have come under suspicion since the marches on Whitehall earlier this year. She has been charged with handling data sensitive to Her Majesty's government and passing that data to contacts in Moscow. You don't believe that, do you? Doesn't really matter what I believe, does it? It's going to make the professor jumpy. Not the reason he wanted the university and the papers. Questions remain over whether she was working alone and how the university deal with a fallout. The same as usual, I suppose. Just carry on. Molly and Clara were good friends. I hope this won't come back on her. Look, so Clara's that uh, friend you mentioned then? She is. She'll be worried sick. Look. Despite all this newspaper talk, it's only questioning. I wouldn't get too worked up about it. You seem very calm about all this. Well, of course, I hate to see it, but, you know, nothing to do with us, old chap. It chair. is when you know someone who's involved. We'll blow over soon, I'm sure. I wouldn't be so sure. What if this is just the start? All right, then. Let's take another look at this one. Four across, nine letters, begins with T. Oh, this is what I am when you're driving. Rhymes with verify. Okay. I get the message. Just going to write that one down. If I should live long enough. No, no, keep going. No. Come on. A bit further, a bit further. No, 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 no! Damn it! state-of-the-art technology. It weighs a ton. Come on. You can do it. I know. It's just what I could cobble together with a meager budget. I just wanted to make sure that if I was carrying the kitchen sink, it was a scientifically useful kitchen sink. I've been meaning to tell you. I, I heard from Molly just before we left. Molly? What's happened? Well, it's been awful. As you'd expect. Arrested and questioned like that for so long. She sounded a bit shaken. Didn't sound like her at all. So is, is she still under arrest? Well, that's what she was calling about. She was being released without charge. How do you feel about it? Well, it's better than her still being locked up, that's for certain. But something was a little off about it. 
You suspect something's going on? Foul play? Something must be going on. But I can't put my finger on it. She wasn't being very clear. She wasn't sure if she wants to come back to college. I, I don't know when I'll see her again. Sounds like it's really affected her. Mm. It's just... I hope it doesn't ruin things. Her academic career, everything, you know? So many people think that where there's smoke, there's fire. It's bloody unfair. It, it was going to happen sometime. What? Just because she speaks louder than the rest? Please. But, yes, there are plenty of people who would much rather she didn't come back. I wouldn't like to be in her shoes, that's for sure. This cold war suddenly feels a bit real, doesn't it? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Shall I send it up? On the count of three. One. Too late. I'll never tire of doing that. <laughs> Taking all your readings? I've just completed mine for the day. Oh, that was quick. Oh, well, you know me. Ready for the walk back? Absolutely. Absolutely. Although, there's something I want you to see first. Sounds intriguing. Follow me, you'll see. Fancy we climb. You can make it up there. I can. Can you? Come on. Together we can make it to the top. Here. One hand here, it'll help you up. Oh, if I can do this as a girl, I can do it again now. Your parents allowed you to climb this. They didn't know. My brother took me. Those readings, Peter, I've been wanting to talk to you about them. Are they consistent with what they've been reporting in South America? They're not as high, but they're high. Oh, your equations still work. It doesn't disprove the model. We can still plot the paths of the air currents. But still, something's not right. What is it? The white-tailed eagle. I haven't seen one in years. Amazing things. It's caught something. This is special. I thought they were extinct, poisoned by pesticides. Beautiful things. A new life, eh? Oh. Wonder if we'll see anything like that again. I wonder where it came from. It makes me think, where did it come from? I mean, the extra radiation. Where did that come from? Are you sure it's not a quirk of all this new equipment?
all the instruments can't be giving inflated readings. Oh, come on, take my hand. There you go. Right. Right. Let's try and work it out. All right, so what do we know? We know the readings are at their highest down in the Southern Hemisphere. And not as high here, up north. Right. Uh, it's being dispersed over time. That would make sense. Well, it's, it's heading from the south up to the north. Yes. Of the air currents. That would prove that's what's happening, that there's this general movement north. I think we need to find out where this radiation came from in the first place. We've been running the model forwards all this time, but our starting point has always been South America. I, I could look again at the model, perhaps. Run it differently, you mean? Run it backwards. See where these air currents originate. The radiation has to be coming from somewhere. Somewhere further south. South of the Antarctic Circle, maybe? I don't know. Wh whatever this is, people are going to want to hear about it. I hope so. I think we might be onto something. This is bigger than just clouds, you mean? <laughs> bigger than clouds! Although I know you can't believe such a thing. Ah, oh, I might, given the chance. It might be what this paper is meant to be about. Beautiful thing. It would be. If you wanted to do it. It would change the whole focus of the paper. You might be needing some help. Would you like to help me with it? Writing it? Well, of course. It could be that beautiful subject I was talking about. Your subject? <laughs> of course not. It could be ours, though. This beautiful thing. If you wanted it to be. Come here.
last. What? The rain. Oh. Think we could make it to those trees down there? No chance. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> Here it comes. If it hits us, you could take my jacket. Promise me that? Promise you that. Let's go then. This isn't the way back, is it? I know another way around. Don't worry. We'll get less wet. Wait! <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? This? No! I mean the new idea, the paper. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's great. It's great, really. Finally. It's so much better at night, don't you think? Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I saw them setting up this afternoon. It was all chaos and scaffolding, but now it's more, oh, I don't know, um, exciting, I suppose. Not just all that. This. This. You realize this is a big occasion, don't you? It's the first time you've taken me out, Dr. Hamilton. No. <laughs> At night, in public, not working, not hiding a wee anywhere. We're out courting. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Cuddly toy? Oh, you know me so well. Go on then, boys and their toys. Watch this. Good grief, what are you doing? As you said, <clears throat> courting. Are you now? Ten shots, sir. There you go. Knock down all the cans, the bear's yours. Or more likely yours. <laughs> I think this one's more for him. Not many men can do what I'm about to do. And you have good aim, do you, my knight in shining armor? Absolutely. <clears throat> Absolutely. Well, I, I, I always thought I'd be good in the army. If only books hadn't gotten in the way. Go on then, prove yourself, army man. Well now, maybe I had you all wrong. You really don't need to prove anything. You see, my lad, only another five of them. Make a soldier of you yet, Pete, my boy. Now, what's he up to, cheeky little bugger, spoiling our game? Go on, see if you can get him. Ah! Missed him! Uh, that's, uh, that's enough, I think. What's the matter, Peter? <clears throat> I'm fine. Clara?
station. I can't know what's going on here. any fuel. I've, I've walked all this way. Are you all right, Peter? Where are you? At some kind of base. Not the one we're looking for. Another base? Are there any people there? There were lots at the fun fair. Uh, Clara was there. Yeah, no, 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 there was no one, just just a mine, a, a radioactive symbol. A mine? God, where the hell are we? Can you see anything else? F Floyd, Floyd, I can see the ship at last. <laughs> uh, mountains, bay, ship, like we said. You can see it? You can see the Norwegian ship? I can, I, I, I can see it on the far side of the water. And there's a, a boat, a small boat on this side. Okay, so that's something. Do you think you can use it to get across? Oh God, not rowing. No, oh, no, I can't. I can't get in a boat. Not now. Not out there. You don't want to give up this close to the finish line. I'm counting on you. <laughs> We're going to die out here. You know where you are now. This is the last push. You've made it this far. I know you can do it. Hello? Wait, I'll... Uh, I'll go when I'm ready. No, no, no. If you hang around, we've got a problem, mate. There's a, there's a storm coming your way. I know because I'm in the thick of it now. You don't want to get caught out on the water when the river hits. Look, I know you're tired, Peter. But if you don't get moving now, you'll never cross the water. Who knows when the storm will clear? You've got to leave now. Floyd, I can't. <sighs> Yes. Yes. I'm ready. Go on, mate. Go! Get out of there! Go on! Peter! Good to see you at last. You look well. We were just talking about you, old chap. Here. 
got the first round in to celebrate. Oh, thank you. Uh, the paper's going shockingly well at last. No need to be too shocked. John, your eminent professor mentioned it. I gather you showed him an early copy. Word spreads when something's good, that's all. Never seen the man so delighted. So, <clears throat> I propose a toast. To Peter. To Peter. Stop it. I'll take the compliment, will you, Peter? May this be one foot inside the club. So all in all, I hear it's been a very productive summer. Got everything you wanted in Scotland. <sighs> not quite everything. Oh, was she not all that you hoped for? Someone's been spreading rumours, have they? Uh, my hands are clean. I just mentioned Clara. Uh, that was it. Clara, good man, Peter. Like I said, inspiration. Sorry, shouldn't I have said anything? I'd rather it was kept quiet. I, I don't want anyone getting the wrong idea, that's all. Clara's been helping with the readings and... Helping? Well, bit of note-taking here and there, filing? Uh, that kind of thing. A lot of writing, too. Oh, I thought it was more, you know, assisting than writing. No, no, she's done a lot on it now. Changed the focus of it a little, too. Oh, I see. So wouldn't that make it a joint paper? Sam, I think we all know that Peter is the real professor-in-waiting here. I think he knows better than anyone how much he put into it and who wrote what. Isn't that right, Peter? Joe, what are you getting at? And he's well aware his chances of promotion would be considerably lower if he'd only done half the work in collaboration. Oh. No, I, I didn't know that. Fine. Collaboration isn't a bad thing. No, I agree. Unless, of course, you're that girl Molly collaborating with the communists. I think the word you're looking for is collusion. Well, didn't work out too well for her either way. Shame, really. I'd have happily colluded with her. Joe. Ah, you're right. You're right. Too complicated. I prefer things with fewer strings attached. Having the KGB and MI5 watching through the curtains, that would really put me off. She did make herself rather visible. Has anyone heard from her since? Well, she hasn't come back for the start of term yet, apparently. Beyond that, who knows? A vanishing lecturer. Doesn't that worry you? Not especially. You're not worried, are you? You've got no secrets to hide? Not anymore, thanks to Sam. Sorry, old chap. It's all water under the bridge. New term. Things will have settled down. Fresh start and all that. My thoughts exactly. New term, new students. Speaking of which, what do you think of those two over there? Them? Very nice, I'm sure. Joe, don't. Hold this, will you? Are you leaving us? Don't be so possessive, Peter. What are you, the wife? Like you said, Sam, never too late for a fresh start. I meant what I said. Hearty congratulations on the paper. You always had that passion, much more than the rest of us. <laughs> and this sounds like that old conundrum, women or work. Just don't forget your years of struggle. Don't miss this opportunity now. Wouldn't want you missing out on what you deserve. Thank you. Right. I'm off to get what I deserve. Don't wait up, chaps. You're a disgrace, Joe. Absolutely shocking. He keeps doing that, doesn't he? Uh, he'll stop it one day. But what's there to stop him? Come on, Pete, pay attention to heading the bloody clouds again. That's your problem. Pick up the oars and row like I told you. How faster than that, son. I'm keeping both in time. I'm doing my best. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. And try and... Keep your weight in the middle, too. You don't want to tip us in. What a wonderful start of the holiday that would be. Do you want to help? No, this is a test of your listening, son. You're trying to work things out for yourself. 
How would you learn if I did everything for you, eh? I didn't mean do it all, just take an oar, maybe. Well, say I did, and you could only work one oar, then where would we be? We'd be going round in circles. <laughs> oh, now, look, there's a strong current coming up. It's a good test, son. Now, remember what I taught you, and this won't be a problem. I keep us straight and true. Strong arms. I said strong. No, 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 no! Trying. That side! Harder on the poor side! Help! Jesus, Pete, that one! Oh, come on! Give it here! Give it here! God, you get back there, I'll do it! I knew you weren't made for this! But maybe you're right. Come on. And prove you can go the rest of the way. The current's not as strong now. Oh, here you go. I have done my best, Pete. Whatever you do in life, you can't expect anyone to do things for you. My experience. I won't always be here to help. And there'll come a time when you've got to prove you can do something by yourself. Hamilton? Oh, get me away from this thing. It looks calm out there, but it, it's rougher than you think. Oh, it does look nice and calm, you're right. It's the current. Can't you see it? It's very nasty ripples. It's practically a storm surge. I think if the wind had been in another direction... Oh, come here. Don't you know me at all by now? Come on, let's walk. 